So here I am at another abandoned mine. Now what's unusual about this mine is the location. It's about a mile from where last May a year ago in 2020, around the 14th or 15th of May, might have been the 16th, there was a 6.5 earthquake. Yes, it was epicentered about a mile from here, up in the canyon. So this looks like a talc mine or soapstone. That's what I'm assuming this is. Really couldn't find any information on this mine. Uh, it's one of those obscure ones that just doesn't seem to have any written record. But anyway, I'm gonna go in here and check this out. The tunnel goes down at an incline and then kind of bottoms out down there. So I'm not sure if this is collapsed, being that the earthquake happened a year ago in this location or what, but uh, let's go check it out. Kind of unusual, there's some, some little flags hanging up there. I don't, I've never seen those before in an abandoned mine. Don't know what those represent. Get a closer look at those when I get down there. Also got to get these tumbleweeds out of the way. And that, as you might know, is prime rattlesnake habitat. So I'm going to be checking carefully for snakes in those tumbleweeds as I make my way down this inclined entry tunnel. So I made it down the entry tunnel. Those tumbleweeds are the kind that have thorns all over the place. So those are kind of tricky to get out of the way, but you have to be careful. But yeah, they're real thorny, real small miniature thorns all over them. Crazy. But so here's looking in. Uh, I don't know why somebody, somebody stapled what looks like might have been a banana that has shriveled or a chili pepper. But they stapled it. See the staple there on the stem? That's kind of strange. And these little flags, I looked at them. They don't have anything on them. There's no writing that I could see unless it's faded. But there's nothing on them. Just a bunch of alcoves kind of dug here. Um, boy, there's a lot of cold air coming out of here. Oh, there goes a the tumbleweed. Yeah, I don't know if this goes anywhere. This really looks to be a mess um, down in there. It looks like there's a, an ore chute coming down right, right in front there. Let's get a little closer and check it out. Okay, let's see. Uh, well, yeah, that's a chute. It's clogged. And I don't think there's a tunnel beyond it, uh, behind it. I'm going to have to crawl through there on my hands and knees and to get up close. So let me do that. Yeah, it definitely is an ore chute coming down, and it's timbered pretty heavily behind it. Um, very strange. Uh, right here is an old can of something. Brake fluid. Uh, looks like on the left there, there might be a little bit of a gap, but I don't think that's big enough for me to squeeze through. I'm going to have to crawl up there and see what's behind there, if anything. See that gap right there on the left? There's a similar gap over there on the right, but it looks a lot smaller, and it's not as easily accessed. So let's see if we can peek behind there. But yeah, this is really unusual. I, this, in, or this tunnel comes in and there's a chute. Heavily timbered too. So, must have been something behind there. Okay, here's looking behind this big chute. Um, yeah, it opens up. Um, looks like the tunnel might have kept going, but right there, Right where my light is, there's a wooden, a square wooden box. That's one side of it. I can see the rest of it there. It's a big empty box. And I don't know what that is. If that's an ore cart, it's got metal frame strapping around it on the edges there. I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom in a little bit. And uh, and then the tunnel looks like it continues beyond where my light is there. It's kind of a, it's got a curve shape to it, like they always do. And then the chute just goes up above that and disappears into an upper area, I guess, I think. Oh, there's a big timber there. But I can't get through there. That gap is only about, jeez, um, 
maybe six inches wide. So whatever they were doing here, they must have stopped using this level and uh, and put the ore chute in and we're, and we're going higher, unless it's just a big stope above here, which I can't tell. It's, it's sealed up really tight, the ore chute. Even looking up here on the side, it's all closed off with timbers. So, yeah, that can't see the end of the tunnel, but I'm at the wrong angle, but I don't know how far back that would have gone. And I don't know if that big box there, if that's a collar for a vertical shaft or what, probably not. I bet that's an ore cart. If so, that's a pretty big ore cart. I, I don't know. Um, it might have been. Um, even that strapping, it, the bolts that are holding it onto the wood are kind of, uh, they're placed like diamonds, it looks like. So, so somebody was careful to, you know, make it look, you know, kind of uniform. So it might have been an ore cart. But yeah, I can't, I can't get in here, unfortunately. And I don't think there's any other openings anywhere else around here for this one. But anyway, uh, here's looking around here. Um, uh, let me turn the light down. Yeah, that's, that's all sealed up. That's the ore chute. And there's the side of the chute. And I'm laying on my stomach here and all this rubble and mouse droppings, so it's kind of gross. But yeah, that, that definitely did go somewhere. Darn, wish I wish I could get in there. <laughs> Well, I think that's it for this. So I'm going to turn around here as so you can see what I'm dealing with. So apparently when that earthquake hit, this didn't get damaged that much or, or it didn't collapse apparently. But here's looking back. I'm sitting up. I had to crawl underneath that beam. And uh, here's a... Uh, that's one of those um, religious candles. Yeah. St. Judas Tadeo, St. Jude. Um, I wonder if somebody was coming down here and maybe somebody died in this mine, you know, and that's why they put this, uh, had these candles down here. Maybe they were doing like a little service in, in memory. And maybe that's what these flags are for, these pennants that are hanging from the overhead, which don't have any writing on them. It lo looks like they were different colors but they look faded for some reason. So maybe, maybe this person died in here. I don't know, but yeah, that candle is kind of strange. And then the brake fluid. Well, anyway, I'm going to make my way back up and get out of this one. As I'm making my way back out, I'm checking out these pennants. The ones behind me here look like they were Maybe purple, purple and brown, and the ones up here are right here, purple and gray. You can see them. And the ones up there are green and yellow. So very interesting. And right there you see on the ground another one of those, uh, those religious candles. As a matter of fact, there's another one up there. I didn't see that coming in. There's one right there. Um, so yeah, this must have some, some kind of significance for somebody. And they're coming in here and putting up pennants and hanging up that that withered uh, that, that chili pepper or whatever was up there that I showed when we came in. Interesting. But yeah, this is the part. I think I can just walk up this. It, yeah, I always worry that on these loose rubble things that I can't get back out, but this one I can basically walk up. Sliding back a little bit, but not too much. Here is a look around. There's the old Corolla in the distance. There's some concrete footers up there, so they had something here, probably a power plant of some sort. And uh, here's looking around. So that chute that was down in the tunnel that wasn't more than 20 feet below where I'm standing right now, so maybe there's something up here, another opening. Let's go check it out. Okay, there's a hole up here. I'm right over the tunnel that we just were in, and I'm about as far down as where the chute was. There's a hole. Look at that. 
Yeah, this is, uh, this, this stuff is very soft, so I don't want to get too close to that. Don't want it to cave in. Wow, that looks like, aha, uh -huh, I think it goes down this way, off to the left. Nope, that's just a pit. But that did go to that chute at one point. It's, uh, it's just... So here's my campsite. Here's the old Corolla. And there's my cot or bed that I like to sleep outside under the stars. I never use a tent. I always have it propped up against the, uh, the side of the car like that. And then uh, over here I have a campfire going. Pretty nice one. Check that out. Listen how quiet it is out here. There's no sound except the wind and the fire. And check out what's in the sky right in front of me up here coming over the hill. A full moon. Isn't that amazing? But yeah, it's a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice fire out here in the desert, where it's very quiet and very, very peaceful.